Warning, if you wanna make money while learning to code, you need to stop everything and watch this video. All right, so like I said, if you wanna make money while learning to code, you need to watch this video. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about today's featured course. Today's featured course is Hello Coding. Get 170 hours of content for a discounted price below. Remember that every single dollar that we get from the courses that you buy below, we put into making more content. Also, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified for the next Buratech video. So we all know that learning to code will put you on a better career path. I myself get amazing job offers from amazing companies all the time. And the reason that they want me is that I have a lot of experience coding and I can actually code well. In addition, I have an insanely good portfolio that has made a lot of money over the years. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can make money while you're learning how to code. So first of all, you always need to be learning if you want to be in the tech space. The world moves so quickly and there's new frameworks that come out every day. And if you don't keep up on these new frameworks, you're going to get left behind. Over the years, there are many examples that I can point to, but I can definitely tell you that every time that I've been lazy and haven't been keeping up with the new technology, I haven't profited as much as I probably could have. I can also hear what some people are thinking right now. Isn't making money while you learn to code fundamentally wrong? The reason why people think this is they think that learning and going to school and getting a job are two separate things. But in reality, you can actually learn a ton of stuff on the job that you would never learn in school. Now this makes sense. If you're a doctor, you can't be practicing medicine or doing surgery in your first year of med school. You need to finish that degree and then become a doctor. But not all careers are like that. In business related careers and in tech related careers, you can start making money immediately. And I highly recommend that you take this approach to your career. More importantly, the world is moving away from a jobs based economy to a skills based economy. And if you're a programmer and you want to get paid, you need to have a ton of skill. So the question is, is how do you develop that skill and get paid at the same time? Remember that you should try and pick up some paid work before you leave your school, your boot camp, or work wherever it is you're learning. And another thing is that you should probably not do free work. Now, I graduated in the recession and believe it or not, the only work that I could find was unpaid internships. And I did a few free freelancing gigs and I highly regret it. Nowadays, you have the option of not doing free work and I highly recommend that you do not do any free work. You have to get paid something. So how can you make money while you're learning to code? Well, one of the easiest ways that you can make money while learning to code is to make a small course and upload it to Skillshare. Now, Skillshare isn't a scalable company. You can't build a multi-million dollar business on Skillshare, but you can maybe make $100 a month. So if you're gonna make $100 a month on Skillshare, then perhaps you can upload a few hours of content and see what happens. Now this is really good because if you're learning something new, then you can make a product that has code in it. You make a tutorial series and it can be something as simple as functions in JavaScript. You can make a small two hour course on how to use functions in JavaScript. It's something that you can teach beginners how to do. If you do this, you'll have a product that has code in it and that is valuable. And furthermore, if you do make $100 a month on Skillshare, that's $100 you didn't have before. You're getting paid while learning to code. Now eventually you'll have to graduate from Skillshare because there isn't really that much money to be made on Skillshare. Chances are you'll make more money at a job or doing other things, but while you're starting out, it's great to do this. The next thing that you can do is find some small jobs on Upwork. Now, when you're learning something, you probably wanna be a Python or machine learning guru before you start looking for work. This is the opposite of what you actually wanna do. Chances are there's some debugging work or some QA work that needs to be done on Upwork and you can get paid to do it. You'll learn so much just by going through the process of putting up a profile, trying to get some jobs, and actually doing the job in the first place. This is something that you cannot possibly learn in school unless they're actually giving you work to do in school. 
So you wanna try and do a little bit of freelancing and who knows, maybe you might strike it big and become an amazing freelancer or you can use it as a part of your portfolio to get a better job. Now, the only thing that you need to be sure of is that you're adequately getting paid. Now, your first few jobs, you're probably not gonna get paid well, but you need to get paid something. The next thing you can do is make an app or a game and upload it to the app store. If you do this, not only will it show future employers that you can get something done, but you can actually make money and who knows, maybe you could become really rich from doing this. It happens all the time in the App Store. The App Store is a very scalable marketplace, unlike Skillshare. So if you're looking for a job and you don't have a job, then you should make an app and upload it to the App Store because while you're looking for a job, it shows employers that you're actually working on something. Now, even the simplest apps make a few hundred dollars a year. Now, if you're looking from a simple hour point of view, then yes, maybe getting a job at McDonald's would pay more, but that's not the point. The point is, is that you need to use your spare time to create a product. And if you do this, eventually you'll see the benefits from it. I did this many, many times where I released a ton of apps on the iOS app store. And while the profits from these apps were negligible, it eventually led to an amazing career. And again, I get job offers from amazing companies all the time. So if a job is the end goal for learning how to code, then you need to be constantly producing projects until you get that job. It's the best way to learn and make money at the same time. Now, I call this interning at your own company. Now, when I graduated, there were very few jobs and I actually applied to 400 jobs and didn't really get a single good job. So I decided to intern at my own company. Now, the economy and the world is in a completely different place now. If I were to transport my previous self to today, I would be a lot more successful because there's so much more opportunities to make money. In the past, there was much less opportunity unless you actually got that full-time job. The best part is, is that if you want to make money outside of your job, today is the best time to do it. The last tip I have for you is to try and do some work for a local company or a startup. Now, this is going to require multiple things from you. First of all, you're going to actually have to get off your computer and go meet people. This is really challenging for me personally, but for other people, it's very easy. You need to go meet people and just hang out with them. And you need to just basically talk to a bunch of people and get connections. Chances are there's lots of work available for you in the city that you live in. You just need to access it. And the best way to access that is to get warm Form connections through networking. And not only that, I have actually had some insanely good conversations over a beer with other programmers that I've never received on the job or in school. It's a great way to just talk shop and meet new people. Once you meet these new people, there's probably lots of work available for you and who knows, it might spiral up into an amazing career. Now, the last thing that you have to remember is that when you're doing all of this work, you need to brand yourself accordingly. And every job that you get, you have to give 100%. If you don't do this, you won't make money over time. Remember that making money isn't about you, it's about the value you provide for others. And the more value that you provide for others, the more money you're gonna get paid. What you need to do is figure out what that value is and how to profit from it. All right, so that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe, and make sure that you hit that bell button to get the next Burratech video. Today's featured course is Hello Code, and get 170 hours of content for a discounted price. The links are down below, and remember that every single dollar that we get from the courses that you buy below, we put into making more content. Instead of doing a Patreon, we offer our products down below. And remember, you get lifetime access to the courses that you get below. If you really want to help with the channel, you can get 1,100 hours of content by subscribing monthly, yearly, or you can buy lifetime access down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.